Hi everyone, welcome to today's Current Affairs Daily Notes. Today's topic is the Three Language Formula. The Tamil Nadu government has once again reiterated its opposition to the Three Language Formula proposed by the Centre in the Draft National Education Policy. I'm Ritrisha from GK Today and let us begin discussing this. So today we are going to discuss the following. What is the Three Language Formula? We are going to learn about the National Education Policy of 1968. Why is there an opposition to this proposal? What needs to be done? And some possible questions. So what is the three language formula? It is commonly understood that the three languages referred to are Hindi, English and the regional language of the respective states. So the teaching of Hindi across the country was part of a long-standing system. It was crystallized into a policy in an official document only in the National Policy on Education in 1968. This document said that regional languages were already in use as the media of education in primary and secondary stages. In addition, it said, at the secondary stage, state governments should adopt and vigorously implement the three-language formula, which includes the study of a modern Indian language, preferably one of the southern languages, apart from Hindi and English in the Hindi-speaking states. And in the non-Hindi-speaking states, Hindi should be studied along with the regional language and English. It added, suitable courses in Hindi and or English should also be available in universities and colleges with a view to improving the proficiency of students in these languages up to the prescribed university standard. What did National Education Policy 1968 say on promotion of Hindi as the link language? On promotion of Hindi, the National Education Policy of 1968 said every effort should be made to promote the language and that in developing Hindi as the link language, due care should be taken to ensure that it will serve and provide for, as mentioned in Article 351 of the Constitution, as a medium of expression for all the elements of composite culture of India. The establishment in non-Hindi states of colleges and other institutions of higher education which use Hindi as the medium of education should be encouraged. Why is there opposition to teaching of Hindi which crystallized into a policy in an official document in 1968? The origin of the linguistic row goes back to the debate of official language. In the Constituent Assembly, Hindi was voted as the official language by a single vote. However, it added that English would continue to be used as an associate official language for 15 years. The Official Languages Act came into effect on the expiry of this 15-year period in 1965. This was the background in which the anti-Hindi agitation took place. However, as early as in 1959, Jawaharlal Nehru had given an assurance in Parliament that English would continue to be in use as long as non-Hindi speaking people wanted it. So what can be done? There are numerous attractive ways to promote a language to the desired extent. So instead of prescribing a set of languages, draft national education policy of 2019 should give the freedom to choose. Any three languages of the 8th Schedule of the Constitution or official languages of the Union of India as offered in the scheme of studies by the boards of secondary education. That could be a win-win solution for all. Now let us move on to some possible questions. When was the concept of Hindi as official language first introduced in the Constituent Assembly? Now we all know the Constituent Assembly was debating in the year 1949. So we can choose option C. 13 September 1949, which is the correct answer. As per the draft National Education Policy of 2019, hypothetically, what languages will be compulsorily taught in the state of Karnataka? So Karnataka's native language is Kannada, the official state language of, of Karnataka, and English and Hindi are the other two languages. So of course, option B is correct. English, Hindi and Kannada. That's all for this video. If you want to read more about the three language formula, simply follow our link in the description below. And if you liked our efforts, please do like, share and subscribe. Until next time, goodbye and good luck.